Hey y'all, it's Gord. Just a short video to ask a few questions. Yeah, this time it's my turn to ask the questions you guys answer below, please. Uh, I have been making coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil, cannabis tincture, THC tincture, not CBD, for about 80 days now. I had a really good video of instruction of how to do it. I ground the cannabis. I mixed it with the fractionated coconut oil and I put it in the dark place and for 90 days, twice a day, almost every day, I have turned it and turned it and turned it. Now, the video that I used is no longer available on YouTube. I can't find it anywhere. And I had saved it so that I would remember the end of it. And I'm pretty sure, like, I haven't carboxylated yet. And the carboxylation in this video said, wait until the end. Wait until the end before you strain it, before you open it, carboxylate. And what they said was take your jar. Here's, here's uh, one of them. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. In fact, I'm going to show it to you up against the light so that you can see through it. Hang on a sec. Let's have some fun. See, that's it. And, of course, it's a little bit green, but that's okay. I don't care about the color, but it needs to be carboxylated. Now, I don't have... I don't have the instructions anymore. So what I'm looking to all of you for is your advice. Should I maybe just put it in a jar with a, in a glass uh, baking dish with a little bit of water so that we aren't causing any cracking or any problems like that? And I'm thinking one hour at around 200 to 20. Pretty low, pretty low. Keep it really low in about an hour. That's what I'm thinking. Then let it sit, let it cool down a bit, and then I'd go through and strain it all really good and then start put, bottling it. What do you think? That's what I'm asking. I hope you're answering. Many of you have so much, so much information that you can help me this time, and I'll be glad to help you back. Peace and cheers, friends, love and harmony. Thank you for everything, as always.